What is going on everybody? Today we're out here shallow water gag grouper fishing. Our first trip of the season. So far, we've actually caught in a few keepers, but we're gonna keep after it. Make sure to stay tuned. All right, go into the bottom. And whenever you get to a spot, you always start with that bait. Get all the fish in the area to one space. Get some chummed up. The grunts are biting it. Little baby gags are biting it. Red grouper. And then the big gags gets their attention. And once you drop the live baits down, so you get the keepers. So basically the dead bait's just free chum for them. As you saw that dead bait lasted two seconds. Down there. What we're using is these thread fins, which are cheaper than sardines, but you can use either or. So you hook it through the head, and then you always break the tail off so it doesn't spiral on your way down. This is the fish finder rig I was talking about in the last video. It's the weight with the swivel, and then about four or five feet a liter, and then the hook. it down and I always start in low gear when I'm fishing for gags so once I get to the bottom lock it in be ready and it's just getting eight by grunts instantly down there which is good though so we got a fish on could be a grunt, could be a mango. I'm calling mango though. What? Big old grunt. But then when you catch these, they spit up a bunch of what they ate. Just creates a whole feeding frenzy down there. Oh yeah, got one on. First fish in a while for me. Decent little gag. This is on a completely new spot that I found on Strike Lines charts. He used code Grouper MVP. You can get 10% off. And they actually just released this new version that's for your mobile device. So if you don't have a Simrad, you can get the whole chart on your phone, which I'll do a little bit of a walkthrough in a bit. All right, guys. So Strike Lines just released a new version of their chart for your mobile device. So if you don't have a Simrad, this is going to be convenient for you. Go into the description of my videos and you can click this link right here, pull it up on Google and you click this three dots down and you go to their products and this will drop down and you click fishing charts and it's going to be this first one right here, the aqua map. And let me show you this little demo. It's pretty cool though. I was at ICAST this summer and Strikelands revealed this aqua map version of their chart. So the issue is people that did not have Simrads, they could only get a Garmin version or the other fish finder machines, but they didn't get the full version like they would on the Simrad. But now you're getting the full version on your mobile device. So here is the strike lines chart on this phone and I'm on airplane mode right now, so I have no service. So this is gonna work offshore. You download it to your phone, maybe it takes five, 10 minutes to get this all set up. You're gonna have all these spots available for you, but this is all the hogfish areas out of St. Pete. This is deep. These are gonna be your gag grouper areas, red snapper areas. This is down in the panhandle area. This is down south out of Pulley's Ridge and Tortugas down here. So there's so many numbers here. You're gonna always have a spot to fish. And what you do is set up side scan and your fish finder, go over these. And you're gonna find some really good spots. Now let's get back to fishing and make sure to use code grouper MVP and you're gonna be getting a really good deal. But I just fished all the spots I normally fish in this area. Then I checked out the strike line spot and it is on fire right now. Let me show you what this screen looks like. So there is the strike lines chart on. Purple means rock on strike lines and there's tons of rock on the side scan right there. 
and check that out. That is the show right there. It's just like a little rock pile, ledgy area. And I've never fished this area before till I checked it out right now. So let's get another bait down there. Ryan has one on also. Better or just a little guy? Uh, just oh a yeah. little guy. Decent so one. Hard. But this is a completely new area. It's fun finding new stuff. Fired up Key Western. All right, let's get another little pinfish down here on the strike lines chart. Still using that 80 pound braid, 80 pound leader. Oh. But the key is to look at your side scan, and then you overlay that with the chart, and then you're gonna find some nice structure out here. And then here's a little spot tail. What I like to do when I'm shallow water grouper fishing is tail hook them. This gets the bait to swim away from the lead and gags just like it a lot better for some reason. So we're dropping it in and this bait's freaking out. So we did our time chumming it up. Now it's time to try to catch these gags. All right, on bottom. And just like that, it's already getting hit. Oh yeah. Oh! It broke. Don't tell me it broke me. It might have though. That was a good one. I oh, know. We still got the... Still got the hoop. Well, that was a keeper gag. Uh-oh. Get him up, boy. Grease has a good one. Good? Or was it in the rock? Keeper. No. I just put down another little pinfish. But that one I just had was a good one. That was like a 28, 29. Sometimes when you feel like it, drop down the big bait. <laughs> when you feel like getting smoked. Reese dropped down his first fish of the day. Nice keeper gag. Oh yeah. First of the season. Even. All right, we got one on. Hit it good, but I don't know if it's a keeper or not. But he smoked it. Come on, buddy. Here's my first gag of the day. Oh, look. I'm gonna bleed this. Yeah. Are they up behind the thing? They're right here. Brian's got one. Has high potential. Keep it in. Is it on live or dead? Yeah. There's Ryan's gag. Yeah, it's a decent one, right? Yeah. Yeah. What bait? Uh, spot bait. How big? Medium. <laughs> Reese, he's got a beast. Beast of the East? If not, he acted like it. This could be a good one. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> he was acting like like a 30 incher. That one's probably keeper. All right, getting down to the bottom. Two keepers in the boat. That's a better one. He's actually surging. Hopefully it's not another right through, bro. That'd be pretty unfortunate. That's a keeper. There's my first keeper gag of the day. All right. Here's like a 28 incher on this side. Here's a 27. We're gonna get them in the box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as that was a pretty good early season shallow water gag grouper trip. But unfortunately they just cut our gag grouper season to end from November 10th to October 18th. So we only have around 12 days left of season pretty unfortunate so i guess it's gonna have to be targeting hogfish or finding something else to catch or doing catch and release sky grouper but pretty unfortunate here because you can't keep red grouper can't keep gag grouper but i'm pretty sure you'll be able to keep red snapper through whatever weekends they're letting it go to but so it's going to be having to target red snapper then but make sure to stay tuned hit that subscribe button down below as i'm going to be trying to get some more videos out before the end of the season